My name is James Mayer. I am a lifelong New Yorker. I'm a street documentary and a portrait photographer. In my work, I try to kind of tell stories around the city, capturing kind of the history, the current events, um, just what this place means to me. If I get uh, hit by a car, get the photograph of it. I love the downtown areas. I love to go through Soho. Soho is just this spectacular area to photograph. It's got a little bit of everything that you could possibly want as a photographer. Crazy, you know, Louis Vuitton storefronts, great mannequins and window displays that I love as backgrounds. Um, and then you get the most amount of cast iron buildings in the entire world that were built for the height of the garment boom in the mid-1800s um, and now house some of the most expensive businesses or expensive apartments in the city. I do long-term projects. Um, you know, my current project that I'm working on is called uh, Lux City, and it's trying to tell the story of the changing New York. On this block, as I walked by to do this interview, there's uh, some graffiti that says uh, Blandalism. You know, New York used to be a place where people came to risk things, to do things that were out of the norm. And now what you're seeing is Manhattan is really turning into a, almost a luxury product. I think this is a Penny Arcade quote, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. It's now the place where the 10 most popular kids from every high school around America move to. And so I'm trying to kind of show that, show the feeling of, of how it's affecting people, um, how it's affecting the city and the spirit of it. So when I photograph people, um, you know, I really try to make it look like I'm not looking at them. And I try to, uh, a lot of times you'll see I just kind of take a quick picture and people won't really notice. But when I really want to be candid, what I'll do is I'll just aim up at a building. I'll kind of look around, then I'll look at the subject, take the picture, and then I'll kind of look back away. And the key is when you take a photograph of someone, don't immediately take the camera away from your eye like that. Because that's how they know you took their picture. So technically street photography is I think one of the most difficult forms of photography to really get over that initial hump and do. Um, but once you get good at it, it, it actually becomes pretty easy. This is the camera, the, the X100, that I, I carry everywhere. I love small cameras with prime lenses because this type of photography is very spontaneous. So if you have a zoom lens and you're really um, trying to do all that at the same time, you're going to miss a lot of moments. With a prime lens that you're used to, uh, I love 35 or 50 millimeters the most, um, you just already know the, the scene you're going to get. In terms of image quality, it's an APS-C sensor. The colors are fantastic. And the most important thing is that it's just like very small. I, I shoot on aperture priority because you know one side of the street it's sh shade and one side of the street it's light. And if you're shooting in manual and having to change the camera every two seconds, you're really going to miss a lot of photographs. Um, so I keep about an f8 because I like a little bit of depth of field. I just keep my ISO up a lot higher than most normal people do. Um, these cameras can handle it. So I'll shoot at ISO 800 um, uh, on sunny days, ISO 1600 and kind of shady days, and at night 32 to 6400. You know, when I'm set up like that, it's literally I walk around, I keep the camera like this, and something happens and I can really shoot it simply. Chinatown really hasn't changed in look for a very long time. So um, especially with the changes that are happening around the rest of the city, it's a place where you can kind of feel like what New York used to feel like. So this is Columbus Park in Chinatown. It's one of the most special places in New York. Um, this is where a lot of the Chinese community comes to uh, hang out and play games, particularly Chinese poker or Chinese chess. Um, so it's, it's totally fine to politely kind of walk around and just take some, uh, a couple pictures, just not too aggressively, just to be respectful of the people here.
everyone has their kind of own ethics. We're doing this because we like people. Um, I, I really love the city, so I, I don't necessarily feel I'm doing anything bad, but at the same time, it can be actually a little creepy. It's, uh, it's legal, it's, I think it's important to capture the spirit of a place, to capture the history of it, you need to capture the people. Um, but at the same time, it's um, not always the easiest thing to come to terms with because there are some photographs that I've taken that I love and I use that I'm pretty sure the person might not like about themselves. So I got into photography in college. The way I first got into it was I had downloaded a, a bootleg copy of Photoshop to make fake IDs for all my friends. And then, so I liked it so much that I um, got a, a job assisting commercial photographer in my, my last two summers. Um, and then when I graduated, I, I worked for that photographer and did some night and weekend photo school. Uh, and then as I kind of started um, learning a lot more about New York history, I became like a certified tour guide and so I give a lot of um, photography tours and workshops around the city as well. So here is the Manhattan Bridge. Um, the rest of the bridge does not look like this beautiful front. The rest of the bridge looks completely different, but this is one of the most amazing walks in the entire city. You can see an above view of the old Lower East Side streetscape scenes, uh, old tenement buildings, the old city with the skyscrapers of the financial district behind them. Um, so you get very complex views, you can make large prints where you can see all the little details of different things. Um, you get great graffiti. And the halfway point has one of the most beautiful uh, views of the Brooklyn Bridge in the entire city. And you can walk all the way over to Dumbo if you want as well. Washington Street in Dumbo, the shot where you get the uh, legs of the Manhattan Bridge with the Empire State Building through it. In the last handful of years, you'll walk there and there'll be 100 people photographing it. Um, you have people kind of posing and, and doing all the funny, so it's actually a great place to people watch. Uh, so I like to go there and, and watch people doing that stuff. I have a love-hate relationship with Instagram. Um, I enjoy Instagram, I use it often, I, I post on Instagram, but I, I do think it has a samification of photography. People are now flocking to places they see on Instagram and, and they come to New York and they have their set locations where they're trying to, to go to and hit and to get all those photographs. And what's being lost in the shuffle is just seeing areas that you might not normally see being surprised. You know, I, I really got into photography because I like to walk and I like to explore that way and, and get lost uh, and to just be in New York and explore New York and have a good time here. Mm -hmm.